met a gypsy. I'm big with things like that as well. So I've got like a, a I'm really. I'm sure at Speedway it's massive. Yeah. So we with Speedway we're chasing like one percent. Yeah. So we're constantly trying to set the bike up for every race. So like every every minute we um every minute the the track changes. So yeah. we're only doing like a minute race. So that's wild, dude. Yeah, I know. Like it's, you can hold your breath. Yeah, pretty much. So it's like we'll go out ride on the track and then they might send the grader out and then they might water it and then if there's no grader or water you got you might have another three heats after you so the dirt line will be completely different yeah um and yeah the track just changes so much so we're constantly like just fine tuning all the time bigger jet overfuel it make it rev more leaner advanced retard the ignition shorter bike longer bike one sprocket down one sprocket up more pressure in the rear tire less pressure and we're just constantly just playing around with all them things, trying to find that perfect setup for the end of the night when you hit the semi-final and the final. Have you have you noticed over the years that you've gotten so much better at, at dialing in a bike, or does it always feel kind of as challenging as no. the, like? Is it always hard? Every year is different <laughs> because they're constantly they're constantly developing the bikes and making them stronger. Like the yeah, engine is right. making them stronger and stronger. So it's actually at a point now where, like, I'm probably one of the heavier dudes. Really? So yeah, so like some of the guys that I'm racing against will be between like the 59 to 63 kilo range. Yeah. Um, and I'm I sit at like 65. Yeah. So that's like a instant power to weight ratio disadvantage. Um, and how much horsepower they got? 77, I believe. Fuck. Mm. Wait. So what? What should Griff look up? Let's let's. I want to pull up your race bike. I want to suss this thing out. You want to have a look at a speedway bike? Yeah, yeah. I just oh, want us to look at your one. I don't know. Just you got uh, any bike picks? I don't know. Type in Ty Wolfen and Speedway bike. See what comes yeah, up. See what comes. <laughs> no, nah, T Y E. Oh, is it T A I? Yeah. Oh, good. fuck! I thought it was T Y E. Got you. In, got you in me phone wrong. There we go. Because they sort of don't look like they've changed much. No, nah, they so they haven't. Um, so that's, see, they're, they're covered up so much. Well, and what's that for? Just to stop the dirt getting into like the places, I, like you said. I don't know, dude. Like they're just they're just like that. So like <laughs> just old school. That's just how they've always done it. Yeah, I can't really explain. See if um scroll down a bit more. See if we've got some more pictures because it's like they're so simple. Like the engines. So when you do a when you do a start, the engine snaps up because of the chains. So the engine like that where that green half moon is. Yeah. That would snap up towards my knee. And real because it, it's got that much rotate like you're torque full and, gas at the start yeah so you're revving that 77 horsepower up and you're in like a real grippy spot head over the bars and you just dump the clutch so there's so much force there um and, and the, what and size that motor that top, is it that top engine bolt goes through the engine plates the engine and the the top fork tubes yeah yeah so it's all through one bolt yeah. so I look at that from a mechanical point of view and I think that's wrong yeah but that's just how they are man like and look, there's a picture of Crumpy. Go to the um, the number two, next one over. So that's like an that's I don't know when that'll be from. That's an old picture. Yeah, that's the same bike. Like but not the, the same bike, but the, the, the same bike. Shit. The bike's the same. They've yeah. been the same for years, man. Yeah, that's what. So how? What size is the motor? Five hundred cc on methanol. Yeah, dude, that's a fucking animal of a yeah. bike, man. Yeah. So they 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 accelerate faster than an F1. They like they're quick. And it's just one gear. Or the they're, just, they're just in gear so like <clears throat> to change gear we change the sprocket yeah, so that's why right. it's so important that we pick the setup yeah so yeah, we do track yeah. walk and we'll go like that tracks a 58 rear sprocket or a 53 or a 52 and you put your sprocket on and then after a few heats you might drop one yeah if you if you're off with the setup you drop two straight away yeah and then when it's you get to the point where like you come into the corner and you turn it and then it's like starting to labor a little bit off the corner. That's like your perfect like mm. labor, but going. You can hear that sound. Eh? It's like yeah. a real, low. especially on these. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you come into the corner absolutely singing. You got so much wheel spin, and then you park it. Yeah, and then obviously you've turned it inside out, so you put all the weight on the back wheel, and you're slowing it down, and then you hit the dirt, and you want it to just be talky as hell and go but there's such a fine line like one sprocket up you'll be you'll hit the dirt and it'll just spin and rev yeah, through spin it or bog. yeah yeah if you go one two less then it'll die and not go forward and yeah because the track changes all the time it's, it's just constant constant fine tuning it's crazy like i just had 
Max Whale on, and it's it's same same but different kind of deal. But it's just crazy to think how gnarly it is for just a circle. It's just a small, not small, but it's a circle. Yeah, there's so much And involved. you're just going around, and it lasts for one minute. And then if you just tell someone off the street, this is what I do, they'll be like, oh, it's a piece of piss. I feel like anyone could probably do that. But it's almost all, everything that makes it so simple is what makes it practically impossible, it feels like. Every, every person that's rode motocross and that's jumped on a speedway bike just can't get their head around it they're like that is so messed up yeah because like that foot peg there on jason's bike that right foot peg is obviously a lot lower than it would be on a motocross bike and then the left foot peg um is there a picture from the left side maybe that one there with on the start line you might be able to see no next one down. Oh, oh, oh yeah go oh, go back the other one yeah, so you see the little peg sticking out just on yeah, next yeah. to the engine. So, and that's really far forward on the bike. So your legs are in, one's back here and one's here. Yeah. They're just, they're just different, man. They're built to go left. Yeah. They're built to slide. That's so sick. Let's go to, would there, where would we be able to watch just like a highlight of something? You'd... Ty Wolfenden, Heat 19, Cardiff. Done. YouTube. Yeah. I want to, oh yeah, we just need to, let's get some visuals. I just really want to paint the, paint the picture, you know? So this was a this was a sick race. Yeah, this is cool. All right, put put the ball. I don't know. Twenty fifteen. I was so fast that year, man. Go full screen, Griff. Like I was going from last to first. That's so sick. My plan, my plan A was to pass everybody. Yeah, yeah. Because that engine that I had was not getting me off the start ever. Oh really? Yeah. So where are you on that? White helmet. Yeah. Bam. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Spun out the start like it did everywhere. So you're just wide open at that that That's first turn, and you're just sort of still like, wide open, just riding it. Yeah, clipped his back wheel there. Oh, dude, it's so gnarly. Is it only ever four man heats? Yeah, we my dad's meeting on the fourth of February at Pinjar Park in Perth. Uh, we're gonna have a six man final. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, something a bit different. Dude, how tight did you get that thing turned then? Yeah, so the indoor ones are really cool because if you get your front wheel over the curb, um, it actually drops the front end and the bike changes the... It changes... Wow. Changes like the... Um, I don't know how to explain it. The front wheel goes like lower than the track. So oh, it drives yeah, better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it would push more weight on the front. Uh, yeah, like, like just drop the, the whole yeah, front yeah, end down. Yeah. Dude, that's insane, man. And the crowd is mental there, that's too. That's the British GP, man. That's so that, that's like the staple race. Like for for like, me, being a British rider, that's um, like that's one of the biggest ones on the calendar for me. Yeah, yeah. Go and back. Then, let's watch that heat again. There, there'll be a replay. Oh, there'll be replays. I just can't believe the way that you're able to just throw that, throw it in there like that and, and get it up those yeah, insides too I can't I can't believe the way that you can talk with people on the pod yeah true you know what I mean you, you do yeah. it and yeah. and that's what I do and you know it's the same watching Sam Hill ride his bike and watching yeah. Daniel Ricciardo drive that car you, you just can't understand it but it, when you've done it for so long yeah it's just what you do yeah do you think about that Mark, we'll watch go forward a little bit Griff let's let's try and find some yeah watch this and then we'll get get back into it yeah, it's absolutely insane, dude. And how hard is it to, like... I mean, I guess it's just the same thing. Like, goes back to you've just been doing it forever. But just to, like, anticipate where the other riders are going to be. Because it's... Like, you're so... You're so committed. Like, and there's no like, way... Yeah, I'm committed. There's, like, from when I went inside, I wouldn't have had... I wouldn't be able to carry that speed and stay on the curb. I had to run up to the dirt. Yeah. And then just rail the dirt yeah. all the way down the straight. But yeah, if so he passed what, me, I would have gone up the inside of him. Like, the racecraft. Yeah. That's where the racecraft comes in. Yeah. And and it's like, it seems like it's so, it's so hard to anticipate. But again, it's like, you've been doing it for so long that I'm sure there's just like a sense that, that like comes with it, you know? Yeah. Everything, that top left one's a good one as well. Go let's, let's, let's watch it. Let's, last last yeah, first. While we're into it. <laughs> two, two minutes. Dude, it's just. You can fast forward it a bit. Yeah, go. This is a funny one. So, like, on the second lap, so missed the start again. Same, spun off the gate. Could never get the thing to hook up out the start. Yeah. What what kind of bike was it? 
same as what we're on now. Like, so everyone just had, I just had a different tuner that year. Yeah, right. Fucking send it around the outside there. Yeah. So I pulled a tear off there and pulled the goggles half off my face. Oh. And I think this back straight, I fixed them. Yeah, I'm just sorting them out now. So what's the what's the speed like? Average speed slash top speed. Oh, I don't know. Like I top speed. Um, 130 140 at the end of the straight maybe really yeah dude this is fucking gnarly that thing's on rails though that's the best feeling like when you put it in the dirt like uh, these days there just ain't much dirt like there's no dirt there yeah but then like, what's this next corner so where i just go straight to the dirt oh and that's and where it really she's on train up. tracks Dude, that is crazy, man. And then I knew I spun up on the outside, so I had to go up the inside over the finish line. Because the lap before, I spun and lost the ground. <laughs> That's so psycho. Dude, could you imagine doing that shit? There's no way, man. We're excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.